Hey, this is Rich from Stone Broken, and you're watching Inside the Mosh. from Inside the Marsh and I'm with the guys from Stone Broken. How are you doing? I'm not too bad, how are you? Brilliant. Can you introduce yourself to the people? In the yes, room? my name's Rich and I'm the lead singer and guitarist of Stone Broken. Brilliant. Thank you for speaking to me today. I'm speaking to you ahead of your sold out show in yes. Cardiff. The first ever sold pre-sale sold out show in is fuel it? ever. Nice. So congratulations. Well, that's a nice accolade, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's also our first show in Cardiff. Really? Ever? Yeah, ever. And you've come and sold out? We have. That's amazing. It's epic, isn't it really? Wow, fair play. <laughs> brilliant. Um, you obviously go, you guys released your latest single earlier today. Yes, we did. Exactly. And that was also premiered on Planet Rock as well. It was. Which you guys have been getting some really great responses from. Yeah. So what's that been like? You know what, the, the support from every media outlet has been amazing, but to be picked up by a, a national radio station, and I mean, they've playlisted every single one of our singles so far. Wow. We've, had, we've had four off the album, with Wait For You being the latest, and every single one they've, uh, they've picked up and they started to play, and it's been playlisted, and, and they premiered the video on their website, yeah. and it's, you know, the, the, the support is just out of this world. That's amazing. Speaking of the video that also came out yesterday in support of the single, wasn't it? Yes, or the day before? Yes, it did. It, it, it was premiered on Wednesday, two days ago. Wednesday, two days ago. Then, it's a really, really nice video. I watched it earlier today. And it's nice because it's a mixture of you guys, a very simple video in yeah. a way, mm -hmm. but then also it integrates photos from your fans as well, yeah. which I thought was a really nice thing to do to connect with the fan base. Well, the thing is, we, we've got sort of, our, our fans, we call them the Broken Army. Okay. and and they mean sort of quite well we, we wouldn't be here without them you know and and we try and give back as much as we possibly can to them and and we, we have quite a nice relationship with the guys you know there, there's a, a fan group on facebook and they'll speak to one another and, and literally they can go to a show on their own and they will know people wow you know and and it, it's got a real sort of like family vibe and that's why we wanted to get them involved with the video and we couldn't take them all to a video set and and okay. put them on there but we thought this is the next best thing, you know. Yeah. It means something to them then as well. Yeah, definitely. And it's got a quite a powerful song as well. Yeah. Like so have to have that emotion and then the connection with the fans all in one thing yeah. makes it quite a powerful experience to watch and listen yeah. to and stuff. Yeah. No, it's, it's it's and it's ended up perfect. Yeah, definitely. I cannot <laughs> I cannot agree anymore. I mean you got this is one of your like this show in Cardiff is one of a long line of shows you've got done for the rest of the year. Yes, yes. You guys we've must got be it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean uh, we, we like to keep ourselves busy anyway, we're, we're a working band and, and we like to be out on the road mm. and we're also writing the next album yeah. at the moment and we, we just, we, we like to go out and meet fans and, and just do as much as we possibly can, that's why, um, I mean, that's why we're coming to play Cardiff for the first mm. time and, and we're actually able to now, before we, we wouldn't have sold out fuel yeah. in Cardiff if we was to go back about eight months. It just wouldn't have happened. Yeah. So, and, and I mean, it's it's all because of the fans. It's because of um, Planet Rock who have yeah. put us across the uh, the whole of the UK, and and it's it's awesome. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what can you know? You mentioned working on a new album, which is very exciting. Yes. Um, what can fans hope to expect from new work from you guys? What are you looking to be exploring? We we are pretty much just sort of extending on what we've already done okay. and that, that's that's kind of what we did before because we, we wrote an EP we released that and then we sort of bolted another EP onto it to create all in time Yeah. and and I think it really worked the way that we sort of we, we do sort of step things up because you've got to yeah of course but I think the, the core of Stone Broken you'll still be able to hear that in the new stuff that sounds good yeah. and that means that fans will definitely know there's a distinctive sound oh, yeah. of you guys in there yeah. and also like what really strikes me listening to your guys music is you're still quite a young band you have such an established sound like okay. you sound really confident and yeah. comfortable and obviously yeah. you're getting all the success from it yeah. like people you know that I'm listening to you guys and I could be listening to the of a dead man or these other like bigger bands yeah. and it's exactly the same tone which I think like <laughs> fans are obviously really picking up on and are like yeah and I, that wasn't even like sort of a thing that we tried to do yeah it's come naturally it just yeah it did we we sort of locked ourselves away for the first year of being a band mm. we didn't we didn't gig we didn't release anything okay. and then we just sort of like worked on 
what worked as a band, you know. And I think that was important. It was an important thing to do. It means that you can sort of grow together as a band before people start to see you. Yeah, definitely. You know, because if we'd have come out straight away, we, would, we wouldn't have had the sound that we had. And, you know, we probably wouldn't have had the trajectory that we've, we've had now. So. Yeah, you guys are definitely on a steep incline, yeah. definitely. It, it just blows my brain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, what have you been up to in the past few months? You've done a few festivals, I believe, earlier this summer, yes. haven't you? Yeah, we played Wildfire in Scotland. How was that? Because I heard Scottish crowds are quite crazy. Yeah, I mean, that it's it's almost becoming our second home in Scotland. Really? Yeah, we, before, again, before the last few months, we hadn't played Scotland at all. Mm. And by the end of the year, I think we'll have played five shows in Scotland. Oh, wow. And they, like we, we couldn't believe the the reception that we had there and, and it's been awesome and to play that festival as well it gets you out to so many new fans yeah, in scotland definitely and um and like i say we're going back up there twice again this year i think so, wow yeah. you guys are really really busy like yeah do you guys ever get to get a bit of like downtime or how do you like to enjoy your downtime when you're not like touring around <laughs> uh, there, there isn't a lot of downtime no, no. <laughs> i mean we because we, we're sort of only on the bottom part of the mm -hmm. uh the 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 rise yeah we, we still got part-time jobs and so we still got to maintain that we still got to pay the bills and um so it's either work or we're writing or we're yeah. doing some other promo or we're gigging and but that's the way that we want to be you know it, it'd be nice if we could drop the jobs and all that sort of yeah. stuff that that would be ideal so i'm not saying that no, i don't want to do that <laughs> no no of course i've spoken to a few bands about this in the past the difficulty of going from being on a tour and then having to go back to you know the yeah. Monday 9 till 5 kind yeah. of thing is quite difficult. Is that something that you guys, do you get a release from coming out and doing tours and stuff like that and then you have to go back or is there a nice balance? Well, I think, I mean, because a, a lot of the tour so far has been sort of quite scattered okay. in terms of the dates. They've been sort of like on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday or, you know. And um, so we get a lot of highs, lows each week. Yeah. You know, so we kind of get used to it, but we've got, um, with the rest of the tour, we've got a few more shows. We've got some local ones. We've got Leicester, Oxford. We've got a hometown show coming up. And um, and then we've got a, a solid block of two weeks going on the road. Wow. We've got Idle War from America coming out to support us. I think at the end of that, I'm going to have serious post-tour blues. Yeah. So, yeah. so I'll, I'll have to let you know when it really kicks in. Look after yourself afterwards. Oh, no. So, yeah, yeah, it must be a real difficulty for an artist to go from one lifestyle to another within, like, a day. Yeah, so. it's... And it, it is a, it's a difficult one because um, the, the two lives that you live in are completely different. I mean, yeah. one's a professional life, one is also a professional life, but it's in something that you absolutely adore doing. Yeah. You know, and you, it's such a different way of life. I mean, I get to meet people mm. who are coming up to us and saying things about something that we've created. Yeah. You know, and, and you, you, you create sort of like bonds with them and you become friends and, you know, to, to then go back to work where you... Yeah. You know, you've not really got a passion for it and stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm, this sounds bad if one of, if my employer is watching, but you know, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it. You know, yeah, they're they're two majorly different things. Yeah. At and the end of the day, one of them kicks off the other. Like sometimes you need time away from writing to be able to come yeah. back with it with a whole new passion. Ex exactly. Stuff. Yeah, that's true. But like when you said that you locked yourselves away as a band when you started off. Is that a way that you like to write? Is or do you guys like to write when you're? I know it's hard when you're touring yeah. because you're so busy. Yeah. But is it something that's organic, or do you guys like to go sit in a room and lock yourselves away and write? Um, we we did like to do it, yeah. but it, it's becoming increasingly more difficult to, okay. to do that. So we at the moment we write whenever we can. Okay. And we try and fit it in around other things, but then there's there's still an urgency to write new stuff yeah so we're 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 still riding the back of all in time and there's big places that we haven't been to and played the song so that's a bit of a, a relief to be able to still play those tracks yeah, definitely and, uh, we're we're hitting it hard at the rehearsal studio trying to get it nailed down that sounds good <laughs> i'm really excited about it it's gonna be really good um do you guys have a favorite or do you personally have a favorite song off the album that you like to play live i know it's hard because obviously oh, they're all your creations so many. So. But do you have like a favourite? Well, it depends what show we play for money. Oh, because okay. if, if we play um, a place that has like the room on stage, we'll do an acoustic version of Wait For You. I've heard about this. Yeah. Apparently it's really, really emotional and oh, tragic. And... You know, um, there's, there's a little breakdown in the middle of the song where it's just me and the guitar. Wow. But I, I, I've never had to sing that part live. Wow. Everyone sings it back and, and that gets emotional for us because we're just like, Oh my god. That's beautiful. Yeah, so so for that sort of show, 
that's my favourite track work for you. Yeah, definitely. The connection between you and the crowd is like, yeah. it's especially going to be true in Fuel tonight. You've got 150 people oh, coming yeah. in like pre, on pre-sales. Yeah, so. it's, it's, it's going to be insane. intense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's going to be great. So, new album and touring coming up for the rest of the year. Anything else that we can hope forward um, to, or is everything up in the air at the moment? Well, we, we've just signed, signed to um, Frontiers. Yes, yeah, that's so exciting. We, we're still sort of waiting to, to see what's going to happen there, because it's, it's, it's a new thing for us. Yeah. All I know is that things are going to get busier for us, and, and that's great. That sounds great. We yeah. can't wait to see you and catch up with you as you go through it all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.